Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for September 12th to the 18th. This is for Sagittarius Sun and Rising, and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread, but I also use astrology and my guides to help bring you a lot more clarity to bring a little bit uh to get a little bit more specific with your reading and the reason i do that is because i want it to feel more like a personal reading for you rather than a general spread um and as we know astrology and tarot have gone hand in hand for centuries so sagittarius that said this week listen there are good days there are like days that are uh, all right so we'll see what happens for you i know there's going to be a lot of um uh there's going to be a lot of attention on home okay and we really kicked off this uh weekend actually this week uh this past weekend mercury went retrograde all right we you know a lot of people cringe when that happens but there are benefits to it and if it comes up in your reading we'll talk about it uh secondly we know we had that full moon in pisces that was wow hello all right so Here's the thing, that was in your fourth house, your domestic sector. So again, a lot of things that could have happened at home and uh, you know, we feel the energy of a full moon for about two weeks. So uh, it could play out this week as well. Uh, domestic sector, even relationships, okay? But we do know that Virgo right now, we're still in Virgo season, all right? Before uh, we hit Libra season and that is in your 10th house of career. So Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get started with your reading for this week. Again, this is for Sagittarius, Sun and Rising. Oh yeah, and my dog, sorry. It's so hot here in Brooklyn today. She just needed to be right next to the air conditioner. So sorry that she's taking up all my table space. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Sagittarius, Sun and Rising. Uh, like I said, I do a traditional called the cross spread. If you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me secondly. Um, Sagittarius, I love you. Y'all are so fun. Y'all are amazing. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so adventurous. I love travel. And, you know, I would say that uh, every time I travel, when I meet people, I'd say like 70% of them happen to be Sagittarians. And yes, I do ask them their sign eventually. It's so funny. Um, I'm weird like that. But let's go ahead and see what's going on. All right. So for this week, it's really interesting. There could have been a situation that, uh, or there will be a situation that comes up that might be uh, a little bit disappointing for you. And it might be something that you're not happy with, but it's, gonna be good all right and so we'll get into that but let's go ahead and, s and start with the three of pentacles all right so it looks like you may have started working with other people okay you could have started working with other people in some capacity uh work related all right you can see the stonemason here he can't build the cathed cathedral without the architects and vice versa so teamwork really does make the dream work this came up in your past and as we know mars and gemini that you know active all right for the next seven months that happens to be in your seventh house of partnerships okay and partnerships does uh deal with you know love and career and work all right and so you could have made some sort of new partnerships or sort of new deal you could have uh just met some people expanded your network all right and that was really good for you but it brings us to this place which is the five this is the heart of the matter right the five of cups all right so now we're looking at for this week a little bit of loss all right a little bit of grief okay so some Sagittarians there could be something that you lose remember that full moon in Pisces again that is it does mean endings right and I said that we are gonna uh, move forward uh, it, we're gonna feel a lot of that energy this week listen here's the thing I'm getting more of an energy of a loss of, of attachment, okay? And so you can see the man here. He's so focused on the spilled cups, he can't see the full cups behind him. All he has to do is look up, all right? All he has to do is cross that bridge, okay? And he's fine. Listen, when I say loss of attachment, I'm saying the end of things, okay? And so a lot of Sagittarians, you could have, and possibly this week, be in a situation where you are leaving 
pot, let's say uh, the home that you lived in for 10 years and now you're moving on, okay? Maybe moving in with a partner, all right? So there is that sense of loss and grief and sadness that comes with that, okay? You know, sometimes if you're, you know, if you have a, a child who's moving off to college, right? That's a big moment of loss and grief, okay? And so these things happen and it's part of life and that's more of the energy that I'm getting, all right? That is more of the energy that I'm getting, but there are Sagittarians who will possibly lose um, like a job, right? I'm not, let's just be uh, clear about that. Um, or, you know, maybe a client or something happens. But again, I there's a reason for that. And there's a reason for everything. Ha everything happens in an order. And I haven't even got to your future yet. So we'll get there. But I'll even just show you right now. This is your future. You got this star. So, um, listen, we all go through these disappointments in life and we all go through these moments of grace, grief and sadness, but sometimes it is because of things that we have held onto for so long. And so I want you to obviously take your time with that, but know that all these things happen for a reason and we move forward from it and we find a way to like, find peace with it and move forward with it and know that it is for a better reason. Now, you also got the Page of Pentacles in your uh, challenge area. So I want you to be a little bit more open to new possibilities right now. I want you to be open to new opportunities as well. Okay. Now, Pentacles, wealth, right? Money. So in the end, the page is the newbie very new very new energy okay so this is he's actually the one that is the most eager to learn something to educate himself to uh really gain that knowledge to see something grow all right to really be a part of that and see success out of it uh especially uh in a way where it's monetized okay uh but also uh, this is tangible realities too. Pentacles are earth or earthbound, so it could be something in your physical reality as well. Uh, relationships, uh, even if you're moving to a new city, your new life there. But really, find there because it's in your challenge area. It's a disconnect. So really, be open to these new opportunities. Okay, be open to new opportunities, new potentials all of that just be open okay be ready and uh feel free to learn more about it spend some time learning more about it whether it is uh, a subject or industry that you want to get into maybe it's a certain neighborhood you want to move into just be open to it okay now listen you did get the justice card in the crown your crown all right so listen sagittarius sun and rising we all know the justice card, okay? Picture paints a thousand words, but also this is all about law and order. This is uh, legal matters, but also at the end of the day, more importantly, karma, right? Karmic energy attached to this. So two things here. One, some of y'all may be dealing with like a legal matter, things that you have to sign, maybe contracts, stuff like that. Remember, Mercury is retrograde, okay? I have to make that clear just because we know when Mercury goes retrograde, communication can be a little off. And so it's never a good idea to sign contracts or to make agreements during Mercury retrograde. Wait until October if you can. Delay it. Just know if you do make any sort of signatures now or sign something or bind something, uh, uh, there could be some changes eventually. All right? There could be some changes to it eventually. Um, but there's also a sense of... Uh, something that you are seeking justice for uh and this again re retains pertains to your karma right that karmic energy so if you have felt like you were wronged in some way karma right if you've been a good little sagittarius all that karma is coming your way all right justice will be served and that will bring the balance that you're looking for in your life you can also see there's no water in this card leaving emotions at the door you can see that she has that sword holding it in a powerful way and because this came in your crown i want you to cut any drama that's in your life all right just cut it from your life as you move forward okay uh listen we don't want to bring any baggage with us 
on our journey through life all right so here's the other thing is that you did get the king of wands so there is you know at the end of the day a lot of creative energy here there's uh you're really looking to expand and you're really looking to grow and you want to be sitting in the throne like the king of wands this is very transformative energy okay what i need you to do sagittarius you can see that uh he has the wand and it's sprout sprouting leaves this is really fiery here this is very very fiery energy now the one it's the only tool all right only suit and um tarot that's alive all right it's sprouting weaves leaves all right um pentacles don't sprout leaves all right swords don't do that okay cups don't do that only the ones all right so wands represent fire so i need you think about it as a spark right these leaves now i want you to fuel that spark and turn it into this blazing inferno of passion for things that you want in terms of career and things that you're passionate about even ideas all right that's what i want you to do and it looks like it's what you want as well this came up in the rudier spread now the good news and a lot of this is good news listen the best news then all right the future you did get this star the star comes out of the, comes after the tower all right when there has been chaos and destruction this is hopes and dreams this is literally stars aligning for you in the future the things that you want all your hopes and dreams okay you can see the seven stars outside of the major one right that really does represent our chakras our chakras aligning as well this is ruled by aquarius i love that you can see that water bearer here she's pouring the water onto the land not only there's the water but onto the land and you see that it's working okay all that emotion that you're putting into it and that passion so you're good you're good all right you got the star in your future now Sagittarius let's get to your stuff um hey if you like this reading it would be great if you like and subscribe it would be uh I would greatly appreciate it it really does actually help my channel grow and if you are a subscriber thank you so much you know i love you and thanks for being here with me every week i you really make my day um sagittarius i love all y'all okay let's get that clear i love all y'all now sagittarius looking at your staff uh there's okay okay yeah 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 all right so there you know i love I love what's happening here. Let's get started. Okay, you did get the two of pentacles, all right? So, um, I feel like some of y'all feel like you're in a... Yeah. I don't want to say stuck, but I feel like some of y'all feel like you're in a situation. Will this week will feel like you're you'll be uh, juggling, right? Like the dancer here, uh, two different situations. Maybe you feel like you'll be caught in this situation, uh, like in the middle of it, or maybe even two different choices. Okay, now you can see him. Uh, this card has a lot of imbalance to it, right? Remember, we're looking for that balance. Okay, with the justice card even you can see that the just judge here is holding the scale okay and so this card does have a little imbalance and getting the energy that it is something that's kind of new to you maybe something that you haven't experienced before which is why you're actually uh maybe this week will be a little bit indecisive about it but listen you can see the pentacles here bound in the sign of infinity so this little dancer here could be doing this for the rest of his life all right and he'll be very comfortable doing it because he's really good at it but we don't want to do that all right you don't want you want to put one of those pentacles down you want to make a decision and you want to move forward okay and so that's what i want you to do and it's secretly it feels like it is something that um you i'm getting the energy of that you can do it like you can excel at this like juggling it but i feel like things will be a lot easier for you if um and i'm getting more of uh an energy around again like home stuff like your domestic life uh the, we did have right that full moon and yeah uh so that really aligns what is really important is that you do have the king of swords all right in your external factors area the only king in tarot that looks directly at you all right he doesn't look to the side like the others. He looks directly at you. This is all about facing nothing to hide, facing the truth. This is true authority and power 
head above the clouds so much mental clarity okay look at the way that he holds the sword all right now i talk about swords a lot listen have you seen game of thrones i'm sure you have if you have not you've definitely seen some clips of it Jon snow any of the characters when they're holding their swords they hold it with power like that this is someone it came in your external factors someone with power is coming through all right someone with power uh uh, a lot of authority is coming through to really help you achieve and push you toward your hopes and dreams, okay? Someone who's going to be, uh, it could be someone who just offers a lot of wisdom advice, and it could be someone in your uh, life who is actually just very powerful and has a lot of authority, all right? Kings, as opposed to queens, kings, their energy, their power is external, all right? So it could be someone who, you know, when you see them, you know right away that's a powerful person, right? And so that's really great. And you also got the three of wands showing that you definitely want to just keep, you want to go, you want to move forward, you want to start this journey, you want to move forward from the five of wands, or five of cups. Now, you also got the four of swords, all right? Four, all about order, stability, structure. Now, listen, I love this card. This is your final outcome card, all right? You can see the man here resting, but also meditating. You can see his hands in prayer, all right? This is, at the end of the day, just stillness of mind. This is recovering. This is recuperating. This is healing. This is meditating. This is your final outcome, all right? So spend some time doing that, all right? Because it does look like a lot of this energy still resonates. And again, whether good or bad, this disappointing situation or this grief or this loss, you're going to have to heal from it, all right? And you, it looks like you will, all right? It looks like you will, but remember, you got the star in your future. Everything is going to start aligning for you, all right? Sagittarius, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next week. And again, if you're new, it would be great if you like and subscribe. really helps me out. If you're a subscriber, I you. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Bye.